The grand opening of the new Weyburn Water Treatment Plant Reservoir held Friday morning. The new facility will hold an additional 13 million litres of water, bringing up the city's capacity to 20 million litres. Today we're here to highlight a significant milestone. It's to mark the recent completion of Weyburn's new water reservoir. And it's certainly something to celebrate when you consider all of the preparation, planning and design work it takes just to get to this very important stage. I want to acknowledge the investments made by the Government of Canada and the City of Wayland towards these initiatives. It illustrates that when partners work together towards a common goal, infrastructure funding can go farther. It helps the projects move from the drawing board to reality. In all, the work at the reservoir costing $15.9 million. $10.6 million was split between the federal and the provincial governments with the City of Weyburn kicking in the other $5.3 million needed to get the upgrades done at the reservoir. We're at the low end of the, of the governments. We're closest to our cities, but without our provincial, without our federal agencies, uh, agencies water security agencies, without our federal help, we wouldn't get accomplished what we have, have accomplished. So I would like to start off by saying thank you to the federal government and the provincial governments for the partnership in this major infrastructure. Work on the facility began in the spring of last year and it wrapped up earlier this year with testing and bringing it online happening over the past few months. We have to uh, thank our city staff, our engineering staff, our water staff here at the treatment plants, all the people that made this possible here too. Because water safety is the top priority of our council. Clean and reliable drinking water is central for our health and it's our city's responsibility to drive that security. So much of our city staff uh, work hard to provide that. And without again our federal and provincial help along these, uh, with these major infrastructure upgrades, we wouldn't be where we are. And we are now alongside some of the most innovative communities within our province. For Discover Weber News, I'm Stephen Wilson.